Cousins goes down. What a banner year in 2020 for Miles Garrett. Gets his Cleveland Browns to the playoffs for the first time in a long time and had 12 sacks to lead his team. He's averaged more than 10 sacks a year in his four-year career and was named All-Pro for the first time after the 2020 campaign. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. Now Cousins. And he can't bring it in. Incomplete. He dropped it on the crossing route. Fourth down now. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. So on fourth down, Britton Colquitt on to punt. JoJo Natson back deep. Fair catch single four and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Browns will take over first and 10. The Browns set and ready to go on offense. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10, just shy of the 30. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea slow him down otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon the big play to start him out has him at the 45 already a run for Nick Chubb, pushing forward for three up to the 48. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. If you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. has got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and he'll go deep. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. 
give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. First down, Cleveland Mayfield to Beckham. And unfortunately, in 2020, Odell Beckham tore his ACL in Week 7. The Browns still made the playoffs, but boy, if they had him around, they're thinking about a much deeper run, a good grab there. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. Trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. Eric Kendricks in on the tackle. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And power running here down to the six-yard line. Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. To throw Mayfield. And he's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And a loss of three to bring up four. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy sideline, right? Sammy sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport state. The kick by Parkey is good. And the Browns are out to a 3-0 lead. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, it kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. Parkey now following the made field goal to kick this one off. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ballgame as they come up first and 10. Cook as they begin on the ground. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From the gun, here's Cousins. That's to Dalvin Cook, his running back. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. One well, of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. 3-0 now. 
nothing after one on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Cousins. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Throwing again on second and 10. Cousins. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And this will be a Vikings first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. And that's why Dalvin Cook is the Minnesota Vikings feature back. You put the ball in his hands, good things happen. Second in the NFL last year in rushing with 1,557 yards, and that's now back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons with 30 combined total touchdowns. What a player is Dalvin Cook. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. On the ground, it's Cook. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second down, Cook. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Two minutes gone by, second quarter.